Let's jump in right here and work on our upwoosher. So I'm going to first make that track a little bigger, then command right bracket to zoom that out just a little bit. All right, there we go. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use MIDI Continuous Controller 1 right here, the modulation wheel, to pencil in some automation to control the mod wheel and subtractor. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get out a subtractor here. So let me bring my, oops, bring my mix window back. There we go. And let's get out. There we go. There's our reason rack. Let me scoop mix window out of the way here. There, there we go. All right. And I'm just going to open up my combinator. So right, open up my combinator. So right here where it says show devices over there. And I'm going to open up subtractor. And right now I want to make sure that when I use the modulation wheel here, that it's going to control frequency cutoff. So what I want it to do is raise and lower the cutoff point. So let me just go ahead and put that back to zero at zero settings so we can hear what would happen. Let me put my up in control there. All right, and let me go ahead and just raise the filter so you can hear it. Okay, so that's the effect I want to get. There. Now, what happens? Now, let me move my modulation wheel. And I don't hear anything. What I need to do is I need to tell the filter, hey, the modulation wheel wants to control you, so I'm going to go ahead and turn where it says F frequency, filter frequency right here, all the way up and now. When I move the wheel, I will get filter modulation. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that in with Pro Tools using the pencil tool. And so I'll go here, mod wheel one, good. And let's get our I'm going to go back to notes view here. Or let me go to clips view. There we go. There's a map. Go to notes so I can kind of see where they're at. Up oh, there they are. Get those into view. Like that. And now I'm going to go ahead, and this will be in the PDF file that you can follow along as well, so you'll really be able to concentrate on that. And let me just, there's something on my other screen here I need to look at. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead with now the pencil tool, the line tool right there. And I'm going to go ahead and just put that down so it looks like I've it does on the info sheet. And here's what the info sheet looks like. That's what I'm following along to do the work with you here. So that's the Microsoft Word version. You'll be seeing getting a PDF file that. But I'm just going to pencil in what I see here. So I see the pencil starts so there. I've got three black keys I can see in the back of my keyboard icon. So that's G flat, A flat, B flat. So I'm kind of starting on the low G flat up to the top of that B flat. Then the kind of the like G flat again, a little bit up to almost the top of the B line there. And then again, that same place down there, almost up to the middle of the what would be C. Okay, so let me go ahead and drag those in. All right, here we go. And controllers, mod wheel, there we go. And right there. Now I'm going to use the grabber tool to go ahead and grab that down there. Then I'll go ahead and get the pencil tool and right up to about there. And grabber tool, bring that down there. And then pencil tool right up to about there. Okay, let's solo that and let's see what we've got. There we go. And now a little bit more of a brighter sound. And then finally the bigger sweep at the end. All right, so we've got our upwoosher done. Let's continue on with our pitch bender. So I'm going to take upwoosher out of solo, put bender in solo there. And let's go ahead here and scroll over. Let's scoot that up a little that a little bit bigger. Go to pitch bend view right there. And again, this is what you'll be seeing on your PDF. Right there, there's the bender. So starting the middle, going all the way up, and then all the way down. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that. So pencil, line tool, real easy. It's already in the center for you. It's zero position, which means no bend up or down. All right, over the course of measure seven there, all the way up. Over the course of measure eight, all the way down, 
Let's put that in solo. Let's listen to it. Okay, good. And just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and here, let's go look at the automation in Reason Rack. Go there, let's show the programmer, show subtractor, and you'll see this pitch bend wheel move right there as we play. Okay, good. All right, so we've got our bender done. Let's continue on and work on the wobbler. So I'm going to take bender of solo, put wobbler in solo here, and let's go ahead and see what we've got. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out our subtractor and see what we've got here. And what we want to do is... That's the effect I want to get. I want to move that filter up and down, okay? So right now I'm going to leave it right there and close that or just, well, I'll just scoot it out of the way, okay? And let's make our bender a little bit smaller and wobbler a little bit bigger here. There we go. And here I'm going to again use my modulation wheel back and forth to control that filter cutoff up and down. Again, I'll need to make sure that my filter frequency here for this one, and you, you can have fun experimenting with this on your own time if you want. Uh, right now I've got the filter frequency so that when the, even though the modulation wheel opens all the way up, it still doesn't move the filter all the way. This is kind of like a, a limiter if you want to think about that, or maybe an accelerator restrictor plate or something where even if you push the accelerator all the floor, the car only goes so fast. That's what we're doing here, is only allowing the filter frequency to go so far once we, have, you know, this, this filter frequency control here, only allow it to open up so far, even though we're moving the mod wheel all the way up, okay? So right now I've got it set to about 25 or about the 2 o'clock position. Let's scoot that over and let's go ahead and put this in. Again, we're using the pencil tool here. So clips, controllers, mod wheel. Let's get our notes into view right there. There they are. Okay. And first I'm going to go to eighth note grid right here. And I'm going to grab my pencil tool and I'm going to go to triangle shape. Triangle shape. Okay. And... I'm going to click right here, right in the center, and just push up or down to make that bit. But I'm just going to, you can see that I'm topping out there right at the, the, the kind of the black keys above and below there. Okay. Undo that. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead now and make the next one. And let's go to eighth note triplet. Same idea. And we go there. Okay. Now let's go to sixteenth note. And make sure we deselect triplet. So working in that grid will really be helpful. We wouldn't want to be freestyling it or rhythmically it wouldn't work with the drums. And then we'll go to 16th note triplet. And there we go there. Okay, and let's just take a look at our reason rack here. Now you're going to see the mod wheel move. You'll hear the sound of the filter, but you're not going to see the filter move. But we'll, we'll be changing that in the next, uh, next couple subtractors. Okay, so we've got our wobbler done. 